Bam. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there we go. We've got a piranha moat with an electric fence. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 12 of my Minecraft APP Let's Play. So, a lot has happened. It has been probably about a week and a half since I've actually recorded. There's a giant reason for this. We're actually running on 1.12.2 of the mod pack right now. Which, it makes me really excited. Um, so what happened is... When I updated the pack, my entire home was in shambles. What the hell is that sound? Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Is it you? Is it you? Shit! <laughs> What's making that sound? Is it my dropper? It's the timer. God damn it! Muffle. We don't have any mufflers. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, so when I up- Oh shit, I should probably place those weather things down, then I'll continue talking. Um, yeah, I need to remake that. Oh my god. Good job, Yoland. Good job. Okay, so what happened when I updated, updated the, the mod pack? Um, is all of this got deleted. All of this got deleted. My barrels no longer worked. All of this got deleted. <laughs> all of this got deleted. All my waypoints got deleted, and my teleporting areas got deleted as well. So, I've cheated some of it back in. Not all of it, because to be honest, I can't be bothered. It's just too much to cheat back in. Uh, when I say too much, I specifically, I'm, sp I'm specifically talking about um, very like individual items that I picked up in dungeon chests and um, uh, the waypoints. I I could write down all the waypoints and then reset all the waypoints again, but I get, I'll get i just start again with the waypoints. It's fine. But um, basically, I hope it, it looks pretty similar, uh, I think. I, 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 I did a little miniature reno renovation, I guess. <laughs> We've, um, yeah, we have to get rid of all the barrels as well because they're not rendering stuff for some reason. So, like, if I put a barrel down, put that down. See, nothing pops up on the barrel. So, I had to replace all the barrels with diamond chests, which means... We need Applied Energistics going really soon. Anyway, uh, this episode I wanted to... Uh, oh yeah, sentry guns are working now, by the way. I think. I think. They were crashing my game. I know that's fixed. <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to do some more base defenses, and I actually had some ideas. So... My ideas for base defense is definitely sentry guns. Um, once we can get some more material going, we can craft more sentry guns, because I think I'm running really low on aluminum. Um, is there some sort of barbed wire in this pack? Because that would be amazing. There's iron bars that look like barbed wire, but that's not good enough. Uh, we also have the Jurassic Craft fence, uh, from, Ju well, Jurassic Craft. Uh, where the, I hope it's still in. We still got Jurassic Craft? Okay. So, we need low security fence poles, which is just iron and redstone. We're going to need low security fence bases, which are just um, more iron, stone, redstone. Uh, and you power these up with redstone, and they emit a small electric electrical charge whenever you or something else touches it. My god, I'm sick of this weather. The weather changes have also updated as well. There's more options. Oh god! No, 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 just leave it on rain. Oh my god. <laughs> Prevent block damage only. No, 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 no. We also want... Kill thunderstorms and deadlier. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, also, I had to replace one of the jetpack mods because it wasn't compat compatible with the rest of the pack, so I... Doesn't really matter. We, we just... We just basically replaced it with another jetpack mod, which is nearly identical. Okay, cool. 
Also, I have been gathering all my things again, because it deleted all the Ender IO stuff, so I had to gather... I, I'm starting to gather shit again, so... Gotta gather samples of mobs. So we can spawn them. Cool. Okay. Stone. Also, all of my achievements have reset as well, which is sort of annoying, but that's fine. Okay. Let's make some of these. Let's make some low security fences, which is just some iron nuggets. Oh, sorry, that's bases. Um, and then the fence itself. Low security fence wire. Alright, let's see how this let's see how this works. And then also redstone to power it. This is as far as I know how and how it works. Um, you know what? Let's just do it right here on the spot just to make sure it works before going outside. Bam. Um Bam. Bam and bam. Okay, maybe I need to actually set it up properly. It's working! It's working! <laughs> Yay, so if I take this away... Do I still get hurt? I don't. It works. It works. So... Time to make this place very dangerous. I think... We're gonna run it... Probably not too far, but far enough for now. So, let's actually get some torches, and probably around here. Yeah, this is a good idea. I like this. Um, we're going to need to dig down into the sand a bit, because I don't want it, I want it to all be equal land. But, I, I can't speak today. I want it to all be equal, like, on, on my plot of land. I, I don't want it to go all over the place, like a caterpillar trying to climb over multiple things at the same time. So I want it to look nice. Okay. Alright, so I might just start it from over here actually. Why am I doing this? I already have sand. <laughs> I'm just breaking the already sand I have. I have, like, shit tons of sand. Don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Where's all my sand? There it is. <laughs> uh, let's get out our thingy. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in the inventory. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is a little thing I made a while ago. Um, because I got sick of my cobblestone, so what this thing does is it drops cobblestone, drops whatever you put in here. Granted, I've got the time... Where'd my sword go? Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Granted, the timer is here. Anything I put in there gets dropped into the lava, and it goes really fast. Like, go drops one item, like, every half, half a millisecond. Holy shit, that would have been really bad. This is my favorite sword. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we have a shit ton of sand now. Which should help us equal this out a bit. God damn it. So, oh my god, that's a big area. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This thing's gonna break really fast. I think it's already broken. It's broken. <laughs> I fill in all the little holes after, but I just wanted to get the th main thing set up. Okay, so the base goes like this. And then, basically just run that around the entire area. Which is going to take a bit. 
All right, guys, we're back. Holy shit, this is taking forever. I uh, I figured out as well. Uh, this is something that I did not anticipate. Uh, that the redstone only powers in a eight block radius, sort of, in a way. It's not exactly an eight block radius. I mean, like the way the fences work is, you need the wires in the middle. It can only go for eight blocks wide. Then you need the poles on either end. Then you need to repeat the process again. Otherwise, the fence doesn't get powered. It only gets powered in between two power uh, power poles that are eight eight blocks away from each other. So, for instance, over here it's charged. Yep, we're all charged. But the further away we go, look, see. So it needs those poles to carry on the the charge, which um, it's gonna take forever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to be doing that for the next 15 minutes, probably. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, guys. We're nearly finished. So close. Let's actually sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's way higher now. Um, what is that on right now? I'm pretty sure it's way higher. Okay. So, once we finish the security fence, I'm going to need to fill in all the sand. There's going to be a lot of filling in. Holy hell. But that's okay, because I've been macerating my cobble into sand anyway, since... I did... <laughs> I was, I've got so much cobble that I've been chucking it out um, when I could have been macerating it. But it's fine, though, because I have so much cobble. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. So, when it comes to cobble, gravel, and sand, I've got enough for days on end. Anyway, let's finish this thing off, uh, off on camera. Here we go. Two more. And the last one. Cool. The entire perimeter is electrified. <laughs> we should be semi-safe now. Granted, we don't have things spawning in here. Alright. Now I'm going to play the game of fill up with sand. Which should be a lot faster than the security fence, actually. Because, um... Granted, I have enough of these ones. So... I'm done for the day. <laughs> Finally finished filling it in with sand. Holy shit. Not completely, might I add. Because it's taken forever. Um, I've sort of started just placing cobblestone down and then putting sand on top because I couldn't be bothered waiting for the rest of the sand to develop in the machines from my cobble. So, for now, cobblestone. Um, the outside looks atrocious, but the inside looks semi-okay. I wanted to do a piranha moat, but honestly, this has taken me so much time that I don't want to play anymore today. So, probably in between episodes, I'll do the Piranha Moat, because that'll be cool. If you don't know, don't know what a moat is, basically it's just a big ditch with a bunch of water in it, and we're going to put piranhas in it. <laughs> so, it's a Piranha Moat. Very good. Okay. <laughs> so, now we have some room to start building things. I've probably got to light up all this area as well. But yeah, I don't want to play anymore today. This took it out of me. <laughs> Building the giant fucking fence. Oh my god. Alright, I changed my mind. It's a new day now. <laughs> it's been like two days since I recorded. It's okay. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. Okay? Piranha mode. Let's go. We're gonna do piranha mode. Okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna record the whole thing because um, I still haven't finished, filled in all the sand over here. But hopefully, yeah, piranha mode. By the time I come back, a piranha mode should be in effect. We've got to get a piranha, which I'm pretty sure we already have somewhere. Um, I may have grabbed one in a while. Then grab a spawner so we can put piranhas in. And then we're also going to make some name tags so they don't despawn. So, yeah, that's going to take a while. Um, we do not have a piranha. That's okay. I've got um, a whole bunch of spare things, though. I don't really need more of these. Let's go grab a piranha. Oh, shit, there's one. Okay, come here. Come here. Got him. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, by the way, I've been mining since 
like, since I last recorded, I managed to upgrade the hammer again. Want to see how much it digs? It's fucking insane. It's insane. Get ready. What is going on? Right. That was trippy. Ready? Look at this. Ready? It's 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 massive. It's like a five by five area. It's insane. Um, also, I made something called a void sack, which allows me to delete all the cobblestone that comes in into my inventory. So that is really nice for mining. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened in only three seconds, huh? The magic of editing. All right. Um, unfortunately, I actually can't find one of the spawners I had logged down. I've I've got to go back to my one point ten point two world. To see the coordinates of where I put it in the J, um, in the, not JEI, in the waypoints. Because, um, all the waypoints got reset. And I need a broken spawner to create a spawner. So, gotta do some <laughs> logging out of Minecraft and shit. And go back to the old world and check what the coordinates are. Alright, I've got it written down on my second screen. So, this was a spider spawner, I think. That I had logged down. I didn't actually have to go into 1.10.2 of my Minecraft. Just that, just had to go into the folders and open up the config file. So, the location was 3106, 4332, 42. Save. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? There it is. Over there. Okay. Spider spawner is... Wait, where the fuck did I go? <laughs> okay, it's there. It's there. Okay. <laughs> it can't possibly be there, can it? I don't think that's right. Holy shit, it is. I was right. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> you can see I've already been here. Oh my god, okay. Uh, broken spawner, please. Yeah. What's this do? Spawner shards. Interesting. Interesting. Spawner shards are a crafting ingredient found by broken spawners. Once the spawner in the world is broken, it always drop one shard. Cool. Alright, let's go make the piranha spawner. Inserting piranha. Inserting broken spawner. Inserting player experience. Dun, 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 dun. I'm creating a box of death. That's what this is. <laughs> I gotta make some more vials because I gotta pick up a lot of piranhas. Or I can just spawn them straight in the. No, no, no. I wanna, I wanna individually put them inside the moat. Okay, cool. Oh, also, <laughs> I installed another barrels mod. Um, I. Can't remember off by off by heart, but what, what this one's called. But basically, it adds in a different types of barrels, and these barrels don't have the visual bug that's happening at the moment. So I was able to put all the barrels back, which was really nice. All right, cool. We also added Thorncraft again to see how that goes. Hopefully, no crashes. All right. Um, I want to make two of these because they're really annoying to make. Just so I can make another powered spawner easily later on. Sweet. Wait. Oh yeah, there. Okay, there it is. There, that's the broken Brina spawner. Bam. Wow. Wow. Um. So powered spawners <laughs> have changed a lot in the way to um in crafting them. So from what I've gathered, gathered the mach machine chassis used to just be the only required item for the middle. To do this now, you need to make a simple to make a simple machine chassis. I think you need to burn some bedrock. <laughs> then it's then you need to somehow get grains of infinity to mix with the machine chassis, and then to um then you need to mix the machine chassis with Solitune dye blend, which is just a mix of crushed quartz and then there's this organic brown dye that you can make with slime balls and twigs and prunes which comes from shrubs and the organic black dye comes from a uh, coal crushed coal and slime which is pretty easy um the shrubs is pretty easy as well it's just a lot more steps for some reason so yeah a few more steps <laughs> um i'm curious i'm curious i'm curious 
Where is Enderman? I can do this easily. I just can't be bothered right now. Um, can I replace my current spawner with um, with a piranha one? I just want to take a. Just want to make sure I get an Enderman copy before I get rid of the spawner. Otherwise, that's going to be fucking insane. Um, okay. Um, holy shit. So much stuff in my inventory. Oh, cool. The wireless thing charged that without me having to even place it down. That's insane. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, holy shit. That worked. Okay. So, just one. Cool. Now, can we pick this up? And just replace this with a piranha one. Just for now. Because I can't be bothered making the other one right now. And then we mix it in an anvil, right? Powered spawner. It works! Hooray! Piranha. Nice. So, just make sure I put that Enderman thing back there. And I've got no shortage of levels, by the way. Xenomorphs drop so much experience. So do Yelcha. It's insane. This number as well needs to be changed. Again. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think it's like 55 now. I've killed a lot of Yelcha. They're gonna be really mad. I hope they're mad. Alright. So... Need to create, like, a water area for the piranhas. Because uh, of the 1.12 update as well, there's some really, like, weird visual bugs with, um, my caves and all that. So all I gotta do is just place a torch or break the blocks near them and it fixes that. I think I've already mentioned that, but I forget. Open sesame! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. You're not gonna die, are you? Do you need more water? You need way more water, don't you? You're gonna die. You're going red. <laughs> he's going red. It's because he's trying to get me, that's why. God damn it. You're just gonna keep suffocating. Please stop trying to get me. It's not gonna work. What if I, um... What if I do this? Okay, now we can just get out. <laughs> Uh, we need some glass. We actually have a problem here. Like, the piranhas are that aggressive that... If I were to go near the moat... They're just gonna jump out of the fucking water. Like... Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna make some redstone conduits. I'm gonna grab some of my fused glass, because I can break that and pick it back up. And we're going to make a little mini rig. Just for getting these piranhas. Because they're really aggressive and it's really difficult to get them. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this should work. I'm scared that they're going to start spawning in areas where they're not meant to spawn. That's fine. I mean, I don't think they require much energy. Alright. Uh, it should have worked. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing wrong here. I've never actually used the redstone conduits from Ender.io before. So, I'm probably doing something wrong. But, that's okay. Um, I have another idea. I'm going to make some red iron com compounds. Then smelt that into some alloy wire. And then we'll use Project Red instead of Ender.io to um, transi transition. I mean, that... <laughs> <laughs> to transfer the um, redstone redstone output. Not just that, we're gonna make a framed red red alloy wire, which allows us to use it like a block, which is nice. All right, you had a wrench. I've been breaking the freaking things with my pickaxe. I keep forgetting you can use the wrench. <laughs> Bam, and it's running. No space found. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh god. Unless, unless there is space. I should run this underneath. Alright, let's go. Re! <laughs> God damn it. So, the recipe for name tags, um, in the past, is meant to be slime, string, leather, and paper. 
which I I sort of don't have any paper, but I can easily remedy that. Uh, leather, leather, leather. There we go. So in the past, it should have been like this. This is the way you should have been able to craft name tags, which I th I think this change is stupid. So, you know what? Since we have the magic of um, being able to do things, let's do this. <laughs> let's mod our own Minecraft. There we go. Name tag. Oh, shit. Now I have to spawn in a name tag. Name, name, name tag. Hang on. Back into this thingy. Recraft it. Everything's everywhere, I apologize. I'm just trying to get this working. String makes a name tag. Cool. Okay. Done. So, in theory, I said, uh, maybe, maybe I need to relog. Give me a second. Okay. So, re. Okay, guys, we're back. I finally fixed it. Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of just going into files and shit. But, yeah, we fixed it. <laughs> we can finally craft name tags, which is really nice. Okay, cool. Name tags. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> Not many. Holy shit. Um, we're gonna need more paper. So we're gonna actually need to plant some sugar cane. Can do. Cool. We don't really need that much. It's just for the... I don't, I don't want to make a sugarcane farm yet because we don't exactly need a lot of paper. This is the only reason I've had to use paper so far is for the name tags. Cool. Okay. So we've got three so far. <laughs> I can do for now. Um, yeah. What was I going to do? Yeah, that's right. I was I, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Um, let's just put some stuff away because holy hell, there's a lot of stuff in my inventory. I was just like, why make a little thing that we can do when it's taking so much time? I could just literally chuck the spawner inside the water here. And do things like that. <laughs> Alright. Basic capacitor. Powered on. Powered spawner. Active with redstone signal only. We want to make sure that that's the way it is. And then I forgot to get redstone. Cool. <laughs> That's it. So we'll just spawn them in here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um. That's enough. Holy shit. That's enough. Oh god. We gotta turn this thing off. Oh my god. We gotta turn the thing off. Shit. All right. Come on, guys. Come in the fucking. Oh shit. I forgot to rename the name tags. Oh my. Oh boy. <laughs> No, 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 don't follow me. Don't follow me. You're gonna die if you follow me. Okay. We'll name these three Tim. <laughs> these three will be called Tim. Okay. We'll come up with some other generic names. Oh, fuck, where'd they go? Alright, Tim. Let me name you. Tim, relax. Tim, stay still. Tim, please stay still. Oh my god. Okay, we got one named Tim. I'm just gonna try and fucking fuck. Where is he? Oh my god, they're moving. They move so fast, it's annoying. Oh god. Got one. Where's the other one? Oh my god. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Is he invisible? What's going on? Something's attacking me. I don't know what it is. I feel like they're there, but for some reason my client's not seeing them. So I'm gonna relog. Oh yeah, they're definitely there. <laughs> Alright. Gonna get used inside the fucking vials. Get in the vial. In the vial. Thank you. Okay. Now we're just gonna somehow destroy the activator here. P. 
piss off, piss off. Oh my god, these things are annoying. There shouldn't be any more energy left in that thing. Okay, yeah, it's 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 bone dry. Thank thank fuck. Jesus Christ. Um I'm gonna leave it here for now. So we still need to name these things. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I know I named one. Do they keep their names when I pick them up? That is the question. Tim! Come here, Tim. Yeah, they keep the names! Sweet! <laughs> so we have Tim. Tim. And no names. Okay, we've got two Tims. This is working. I'm not going to do this entire process on camera. Because holy shit, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Two Tims so far. So, in essence, all we would have to do now is this. Is that deep enough? Will these Tims get out? That is the question. These Tims can't get out. Yes! It's a moat! <laughs> yes! Fuck yes! That's the main concept. <laughs> that's the main concept. Oh my god, okay. This is gonna take forever, by the way, but that's okay. I've got nothing else to do all day. Oh god, fuck no. Alright guys, we're back. So, I've been running into a problem. My two Tims disappeared, and I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with chunk loading. Um, because I- they were name tagged. They shouldn't have disappeared. Uh, I managed to finish the moat. I had to renovate a lot of the sand around the entire area. This took more than, I'm not kidding, about four or five hours. <laughs> Another day, Jesus Christ. But I'm going to finish the Piranhas today, whether I like it or not. Some of the areas look really, 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 really retarded. Because I just can't be bothered fixing it. But I, for the most part, I, I, um, I fixed up most of what the sand looks like on the outside. Um, and it's too deep now, so. Too deep moat. And the Piranhas, yeah, they're disappearing. Which I think is because of the... Because I left the area. I left the area, so if I just go like this. And have a look. How much will that scan? Okay. So the problem is, when I leave the area... When I leave this area and go mining and... Or just go anywhere else. I have a feeling they're going to despawn. So I just need to load more of the chunks up. So... That encompasses nearly the entire area? Nearly? I think so. Not not the entire area, damn it. God, how much do we have to go? All the way? 81 chunks? <laughs> Is that enough? I think that's enough. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If I start lagging like mad, we know exactly what's going on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to try spawn the Piranhas again. Um, see what happens. Getting these name tags on them is going to be hell on earth, though. Um, yeah, that's going to be insane. Cool. But I was able to do it. Also, um, I think since we lost the two Tims, we'll have a memorial service for the Tims. We knew the Tims for a very short time, but they... They were like family. We will miss them greatly. Amen. Okay, so... Someone on Discord suggested that we name all of the piranhas cunt. I like this idea. I'm Australian. I use the word cunt a lot. Wouldn't it be cool if we just had a whole piranha moat with piranhas named cunt? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, it's gonna be great. Bam. Okay, we can do 14 so far. I've got 10 vials. Uh, let's get some more vials, actually. Oh, wait. We're low on leather. That's what we're low on. I need to get a farm going. Mm. Need to get a farm going. God damn it. That's fine. We'll stick with what we've got for now. I'll go ahead and get some more leather, leather in between episodes. But hopefully, once we get some piranhas in the moat, then our place will be secure. And then hopefully, Nanku, Nanku will show himself. And we'll... um. Have a good old time. You'll be able to tell us what's going on. Alright. Um, piranha time. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, holy shit. The game crashed. 
<laughs> uh, I was expecting that to happen sooner or later. Okay, um, just trying to figure out a way I can make this look nice so I can come down and grab experience when I want it. For now, though, I guess... Mm, I want to be able to access the experience thingy. I mean, yeah, yeah, because I can't, I can't grab it from there, because it's all the way there, so I need to actually breach the experience over there. Okay, anyway, what were we doing before everything exploded? Oh, that's right, naming. Okay. Ready? Can't. Cool. Let's go spawn some cunts. Oh, God. Please don't crash again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's night time. That's probably a bad idea. Let me go sleep. Okay, because I know of how insane this piranha spawner can get. I'm going to make sure I've got an off switch that I don't have, don't have to try break. Okay. On. Off. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, vials. Let's do it. Let's do it really safe. So we're going to get, get them in the vials and then do one at a time and name them. Okay. That's how it's going to work. One. Two, three, four. There we go. Alright. Let's get some more. Cool. Let's grab you. And you. And we're done. Is there any other ones? I, don't, I need to kill you. I don't, can't, can't let you breed in here. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab this thing back. Home. Um, put this back up. Cool. Um, okay. Now we just play, begin the naming process. Oh boy. Bam. One. <laughs> oh shit, no, I'm gonna drown. Oh shit. Let me out. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, and last one. Wait, I miscalculated. It's 13. 13, the unlucky number. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I done? Okay. Let's go put them down. <laughs> Let's go put our defense defenders down. All right. <laughs> All right. Cunt. <laughs> Cunt. Can't. <laughs> oh shit! I should probably um. I should probably double la double layer this in case they glitch out of the fucking sand. All right, we'll put some over there. We'll put some over. Where, are, where is everything? Zoom. All right. Oh shit! They're fucking following me. No, no, just just leave me alone. I'll, I'll go over here. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. There's another one. Bam. Ow. Bam. 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 Wait, is that a hole? No, that's stone. Holy shit, they jump high. Bam. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there we go. We've got a piranha moat with an electric fence. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god. Success. We're going to need a lot more piranhas. We're going to need a bigger moat. <laughs> oh my god. This is beautiful. I might actually have to separate the moats a little bit. Because um, they seem to swarm together. So I might need to separate the moats. Just slightly. And then with the separation of the moats, I might need to put some defenses in place. So those separation areas can't be exploited by whoever's trying to get in. Alright. I trust Nunku can get in. Because Nunku, Nunku can do anything... It's safe for Nanku to come in here now. 
I reckon. I just gotta refill the sentry guns with ammo. And then, um, then we're good. Alright. Now we play the waiting game. We're gonna wait for Nunk Nunku to come. See how it goes. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.